Hello and welcome to the video on configuring Product Professional Client to work with the Product Server. To begin with, we go ahead and fire up the Project Professional. You go to Programs, Microsoft Office and fire up the Project Professional 2007. This is the first time I'm launching project on this machine and the Project Professional has not been configured in any shape. Hit OK. As you can see, and this is the Gantt chart. I have the task name, duration, start, finish dates, predecessors, resource names and so on. To configure a Project Professional, let's go to Tools and go to the Enterprise Options and select Microsoft Office Project Server Accounts. By default you'd have the local login account, this is the computer and this is the default profile that you have that works offline. To configure this Project Professional to work with the Project Server, go ahead and hit the Add button. Here you need to provide an account name, let's say EPM Server Account and provide a project server URL. In our case, this is HTTP colon slash slash EPM server slash PWA. So let's go ahead and type it up. HTTP colon slash slash EPM server, this is server name slash PWA. This is the instance of the project server that you're connecting to. So you have to be really specific that you provide the project server instance. Okay. And the type of authentication we have here is the form based authentication and the Windows based authentication. In most of the environments, you'd have the Windows based account, but if your project server is configured to use forms mode of authentication, you need, you need to select the second option, use forms authenticated account and provide the username. In our demo, we'll use the Windows user account. Okay. And, and the last option that we can configure is to set this account as the default account. All right. So if you want to keep it the default account, select this button, select this checkbox and hit OK. The next thing that we need to configure here is the connection state. If if we leave the connection state to automatic, all right, and when you hit OK, a small informative box pops up saying that your project server URL you have entered does not use the HTTPS protocol for secure communication. This might be a potential security risk. If your project server has been configured to use the HTTPS protocol, make sure you type HTTPS. Okay. In our case, we are not using the HTTPS protocol, so go ahead and say, okay, you do want to continue? Yes, go ahead and continue. And the next option you set up is when starting, do you want the product professional to automatically detect the connection state and choose the best profile, or you want to manually select the connection state? It's, it's a matter of choice. Do you want the product professional to look into the connectivity and if it sees a connection to the project server that you have configured, go ahead and run in the connected mode and for some reason if you're not connected to the project server go ahead and work in the offline mode the only visible identification on the screen is that you'll have a small icon saying it's connected in the status bar so it's a matter of preference and I prefer to keep it on the manually controlled connection state so I can select either I want to work with the connected state or I want to work in the offline state even if my computer is connected I do not want to work on the connected state so this would give me more control on how I want the project professional to work. So I leave it to manually control connection state and hit close. Go ahead and exit out of this project professional. Do you want to save? No. Go ahead and fire back the project professional. And this time it would be asking me which profile do you want to use? You want to use the connected or the computer account. So I'll go ahead and keep the EPM server account. This is my default account that I have just configured. And as this XP client is not configured on the domain, I go ahead and select the checkbox, enter user credentials. If I don't select this, the product professional would go and try to authenticate with the current credentials that, that the user is locked into this machine. As this would result in a failure, I'm, I'm selecting the option to enter the user credentials and provide the username as marketing manager and I provide the password and I go ahead and hit OK. So this time the product professional would try to connect to the product server, authenticate the user credentials that I've provided and connect to the product server. So as you can see in the status bar it says that it's connected to the product server. To just double check you have the assigned resources, build team, substitute resources, all these options are enabled indicating that your product professional is connected and under the enterprise options all the options are enabled this ensures that you are connected to the product server you can go ahead under the collaborate menu you have 
a lot of stuff that is offered from the first so the issues risk status reports data analysis resource center and so on so once you're connected to the project server using the product professional you can do a lot of functionalities from a collaborative perspective let me go ahead and show you if I work in an offline mode I'm, I'm selecting the computer profile which is not connected to the project server I go ahead and you can see that you don't have the connected service icon I go to the tools and you can see that build team from enterprise and substitute resource document management all these options are grayed out and if you go to collaborate none of the options are enabled so you will be working on a standalone mode and you can go ahead and sync with the information with the project server when you're in the connected state so this is pretty much how you configure the project professional to work with your project server i hope this video has been informative for you and thank you for watching